Hello. So today we're going to be doing a stretching session. So it's so important to stretch our body, especially after a workout, but really anytime because our muscles must be limber in order to get strong and also in order to prevent injuries. So we're just going to start with our feet out in front, just doing a nice tall posture, core nice and tight, reaching for the knees, the shins or the toes. If you can reach the toes, great, pull back on them. And with this stretch, you wanna keep your back pretty flat, just really stretching into the hamstrings. And this is also a low back stretch in a way. So we're gonna do it with like this for the first few seconds, and then we're gonna actually curve our spine a bit and get deeper. So remembering to breathe. Imagine breathing into any tight areas that you feel. So for me, I really feel the back of my thighs. So when I breathe in, I imagine sending love and sending air to that area and then as I exhale or breathe out, I kind of think about elongating and you know stretching further. And you know if you've ever gone to a yoga class, they're always talking about the breath and especially on the exhale to release deeper and that's because it's just intuitively what your body wants to do. So use your breath, inhale, exhale, intuitively go a little deeper. And now we're just gonna let our head dip down. You can let your spine round a little bit here. Going as deep as you want. Some people, if you're super flexible, this is an area where I am quite flexible. I can reach past and bring the knees, forehead to the knees. You know, I've got areas that are super tight. My glutes for one, but my hamstrings for whatever reason are very flexible. So breathing, you wanna find that edge when you're stretching. You wanna feel like you're getting a stretch but you're not like clenching your teeth and holding your breath because it's so painful. Because some people think more is better and no pain, no gain. But when it comes to stretching, the no pain, no gain mantra works against you because your body reacts against the stretch instead of releasing into it. So it's all about getting in touch with what your body wants. All right, so now we're gonna take one leg, cross it above the knee here, and we're gonna bring our opposite elbow to knee, just like this, hugging it in if you can. And if you want a little deeper, you can bring the opposite elbow to knee and get a twist going. So for me, I feel this in my glutes, my, my obliques, the sides of my abs. Some people will feel it in this leg if you have tight hamstrings. So getting a nice little gentle twist. And any twisting movements you can do that feel good for you, obviously not forcing it, but twisting like this is really good for your digestive system. Getting a little twist, taking some deep breaths, and then we'll switch legs. Crossing over, oops, other leg. And then we'll switch legs here. Getting that gentle twist. Keeping a nice proud chest. If you want, you can look over your shoulder to go a little deeper. And remember, even on these twisting movements, to breathe. A lot of people hold their breath. But even if you're a little bit constricted, try to just breathe as naturally as you can. Awesome. All right, now we're just gonna bring our feet together. Butterfly stretch. Palms facing, palms of the feet, <laughs> soles of the feet together. You can grab onto your toes, open up your feet a little bit. Gently using your elbows to press down on your knees. And then just gently coming forward, stretching into the groin. Some people feel it in the back and the hips a little bit. Keeping, again, that nice, proud posture. So you don't need to collapse into it. Try to keep your back as long as you can. And that's great practice for daily life. A lot of us hunch forward in our daily life. So any opportunity you have to bring your chest up and be proud, pull your shoulders away from the ears, the more you do it when you're exercising, when you're stretching, the more that will translate into your everyday life. Awesome. So now we're just gonna come into a lunge position. So one foot forward, one foot back. And just getting into a nice deep lunge here. So this is a stretch for your hip flexor. So you actually wanna kinda of tuck your hip bones under you. And then I want you to reach towards the front leg, that side of your body really stretching, you're getting a nice oblique stretch, but you're also getting those hip flexor muscles. And so many people are really tight in the hip flexors, which can cause a lot of problems 
especially when you're doing core exercises, your hip flexors are gonna be overactive and kind of cheating in a way. So the more we can stretch those guys, the better. You can lean back a little bit here. And then we're just gonna straighten that front leg, reach for the shin. If you can, reach for the toe. Notice my back is flat, I'm not rounding like this. Again, habits, habits, habits. The more you can practice nice posture throughout the day, throughout your workouts, throughout your stretching, the more it will translate without even having to think about it. It's always at the end of the day or when we're really tired that our posture really starts to go. Stretching here into the calves, into the back of the legs, and we'll slowly switch sides. Coming into that lunge position on the other side, tucking the hip bones under, again reaching towards that side for the front leg, getting an oblique stretch here, getting those hip flexors. If you can remember to tuck under a little bit before you even reach, that's awesome. Taking some nice deep breaths here. When you're really focusing, that's when you often hold your breath. So just taking deep breaths, remembering that breathing is the easiest way to detoxify your body. So getting that oxygen in, exhaling that CO2, and then we'll reach for that shin or toe again, stretching into the hamstring, the back of your thigh, stretching into the calf. If this is, if this is hard on your knee, make sure to have some kind of mat or pillow underneath. Reaching for that shin. And just like when you're exercising, try to enjoy it. Try not to push so hard that you never wanna do it again. If you feel like you're clenching your teeth and you just want this to be over, then you probably need to back off a little bit. So you don't need to go as deep. Our bodies just wanna be our friends. So if we punish them constantly and we don't give back, then they're not gonna be around for us forever. So just be as kind to your body as you can. And then we're gonna come onto our back. So you're gonna pull your knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug, and just kind of roll from left to right, side to side, giving your little back a massage. Your low back works so hard for you throughout the day. And then you're gonna bring your arms out to the side like a T. And then you're gently gonna bring your legs across to one side. Doesn't matter, we're gonna do both sides. And looking over the opposite shoulder, I like to use my top hand to sort of gently press my top knee down. And you should feel this in your, your back, your low back, maybe your hip, depending how tight you are. A lot of people even feel it in the chest, depending how, how much you work at a computer or how much you're rounded forward throughout the day. So just holding it here. And this is another great one to work on your breathing. Big full breaths into the belly, oxygenating your whole body, exhaling any tension that you have from the day from the week, and then back, coming back to center, pulling those knees in, giving yourself a little hug, telling yourself that you love yourself and you appreciate your body, and then over to the other side. And then again, reaching over, I like to use that top hand. I'm supposed to be looking this way, but because I'm talking in the video, I'll look towards you. So stretching that top hip, keeping your feet in alignment if you can, Gently putting pressure down into the top leg. So again, you should feel this in your hip, maybe even into your low back, into your chest. Taking those big, deep cleansing breaths. <sighs> maybe let out a big sigh. <sighs> Feels so good to let our bodies stretch, giving back to our bodies. I like to think of stretching and body work like brushing your teeth, brushing your muscles. You're giving back to your muscles because you ask a lot of them throughout the day. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna do a figure four stretch. So take that top ankle, cross it above the knee, gently pressing down, and then reach between the legs here or here and pull back. If you can here, tuck your chin. This is a great thing to practice because in a perfect world, the back of our neck would touch the ground. 
So a lot of us are so used to craning forward and we don't really have a nice long spine. So just stretching your neck out a little bit. And obviously this is meant to be a glute stretch predominantly. So pulling back, you can go behind the knee. If you need less, you can just grab the leg itself without having both legs going. So, you know, with stretching, there's all kinds of research to show what the best amount of time to hold a stretch is, but it really just depends on what, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna enjoy. You know, some yoga classes you hold stretches for five minutes. So what I've seen predominantly is that you have to hold them at least 20 seconds to get a real benefit. I, I kind of like the 30, 40 second range personally, but I actually really like stretching. So let's switch legs now. Crossing here, try to keep the toes flexed up. That will help protect your knee joint. Pointing the toe on this one can be, make it harder on the knee. So flex the toe, reach behind the thigh or above here. And just stretching, remember to elongate the neck. I always wanna kind of curl up like this, but it's actually way better for you to keep everything long. Filling those bellies with breath, sending oxygen and love to those glutes, pulling back. And try to enjoy it. It's part of the journey, giving back to your body. I've just, you know, I just love the idea of making exercise and stretching and clean eating and every aspect of a healthy lifestyle, making it something you enjoy. Whether that means you watch me and do my videos because you like watching me or you like watching someone else or it means you do it by yourself because you love your own energy or you go to a class, whatever it means for you because it's so important to really fall in love with fitness. Um, and clean eating and all these lifestyle things. So last couple stretches, we're gonna stretch here into a downward type dog position. You're gonna try to get one heel to the ground, lift the other leg up. This is a great calf stretch. I love this one. Try to put equal weight through both hands. If you really hate this one, you can do a different calf stretch. Maybe your toes up on, on you know, something and um, letting the heel drop down, toes on the stairs and letting the heel drop down. And then let's switch legs, kick the leg up, trying to get the heel to touch the floor. And then we'll just finish off with a pigeon stretch. Coming through like this. If you want, you can relax your forehead to your hands. That's really calming for your nervous system to do that. And remembering to breathe into any tight areas you feel. So when you breathe into it, it helps oxygenate the area and your intention goes a long way. If you feel like you want to be out of the stretch and you hate it, you're probably trying to do it too deep. If you don't feel much happening, you can adjust your legs so it's more parallel with your mat or up. Ooh, my glutes are tight, so not I don't need to go any deeper. So other side with the pigeon. We'll finish our stretching session with this stretch. A lot of us hold a lot of tension in the hips, so I love to do lots of glute stretches. It's one of our biggest movers, our biggest muscle groups. Remembering to breathe into it, sending oxygen to that tight area and then releasing any tension that you feel. So feel free to finish off with a few of your favorite stretches. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you soon.